mixing critical systems and non-critical systems into same networks for cost reasons makes sense. But at the same time, you may end up being vulnerable to attacks. So the way the time-triggered Ethernet protocol works is it uses a special kind of message to provide the synchronization. The way our attack works is we can actually send electromagnetic interference through an Ethernet cable into the switch at the right time to actually interfere with how messages are forwarded to the rest of the network. So we can send a malicious message, it can disrupt the synchronization in the network and uh, have devices operate in unintended ways. So we relied uh, uh, on a testbed in NASA Johnson Space Center that has real uh, devices and, and real TT Ethernet switches and it's also capable of simulating real spaceflight missions. The way an attacker can actually introduce such a malicious uh, device into a network is if that device comes from an untrusted supply chain. And there's benefits in procuring equipment from untrusted supply chains because they're readily available, there's no verification effort, you don't incur a lot of costs, but at the same time you can be vulnerable in such settings. Ultimately, this kind of vulnerability is impacting really important safety critical components that we depend on and, and use daily. So it's very important for me as a researcher uh, to identify potential issues uh, in the protocols that are used in these systems to make sure we can actually eliminate those issues and, and build safe and secure systems.